game, but here's the teams coming out for the first half here at Galaban. <coughs> so your expectations for today, Keith? I think Aaron need to this is just put the foot in the pedal a wee bit and, and maybe just get a wee bit of confidence and get a, hopefully get a result today. But looking at Al Albion Rovers, you know, that Naya Joseph, Naya had a great spell at Annan when he was at uh, Hamilton. It obviously didn't really happen for McQueen's. Um, but, you know, he was uh, a, a good player for us and hopefully he can be a good player for Albion Rovers. Willie Gibson with the cross ball. What a ball! Oh, Ooh. what a chance that is for Annan and Aidan Smith. I'll be getting the ball under quickly. Oh, good strike. Oh, nah, good save. Very good effort. Yeah. Very good effort by Barry Duncan. Excellent strike by Duncan. And Greg Fleming was equal to it with the save. Oh, great ball. Oh, fantastic ball. Great ball. Ah, what a save. save. Oh, excellent ball by Duncan. Naya Joseph in on goal. Great save, Greg Fleming. Still on the athletic nil. I'll be in Rovers nil. What a double save by Greg Fleming. Unbelievable. Ah, fantastic save. Great strike by Alex McCall. And Two in the good saves, I say. Naya Joseph, that's what Greg Fleming doing, Greg Fleming thinks. Again, wrong side. What a strike that was. <laughs> Albion down to 10 men as Aaron looks to take this throw in here. To approach half time. Oh, Aaron take the lead through Tommy Goss. <laughs> there we go, a goal. Out of nothing, really. And against the runner play, it's got to be fair. It's got to be fair to say that. But no, it's a great. But here's Anne in the way again. They've broke benches. Who? Balls over. Oh, good header away. Tom Docker he's picked up the ball here. Back across. Oh, what a cross. Oh, oh what a save. Been saved, Tommy Goss had what a chance to make it 2 0. Well, there we and go. It's half time, it's Hannon Athletic 1, Alden Rovers 0. Um, maybe slightly against the runner play, but anyway, something to go on for the second half. Well, Keith, that the team's back out for the second half. Hannon 1 0 up, fortunately, I think. I think so, just a wee bit fortunate, that was, uh, that was the kind of vibe I was getting, I was walking down through the crowd there, um, a wee bit fortunate possibly, but at the end of the day, they could, it could have been 2-0, so... It could, yeah, that's, that's the other thing as well. Aye. Really very direct, Aiden. Oh. Early doors. Oh, oh, slipped over. I don't think Scott was looking for that. I think it was more the back post, but there's McCough. No. Great running. Oh, I don't think that was meant, but hey, it was really sailing in that corner. He travelled 50 yards there. Oh, excellent. Great interlink up there with Joseph and McCall. Same as the first half. Cos got a look to go at him again. Ooh. Oh, he's got a run. Keep a, keep a great tackle there by Campbell. Excellent. Greg had came out. I think he might have had it covered, but tremendous tackle. Was well, fantastic tackle. Again, that was really good play there by Ryan Muir, but the ball up top was lacking. Oh, 
Well played, Bevan. Oh, Greg Fleming again. <coughs> ah, fantastic save. <coughs> and Albion get the equaliser through Prince. Comes over to celebrate in front of his way fans. Simple ball, Annan uh, caught out there. Oh, Callow is in here though. Yeah! yeah. Oh. Ah! <coughs> Great play by Prince again. Naya Joseph slots home second. Albion Rovers two. And the 31, sorry. Albion Rovers two. And they were all looking for offside there just with the pass through, but. Ref. <laughs> I think Cannon, apart from a good start in the first five minutes, Albion were definitely the better team through the first half, had the better chances, and then, you know, disappointed. They wouldn't have been 2 0 up at half time given how the end of the first half went, and likewise, good chances in here, but Albion, they stuck at it, and well done to them. It's full time here at Galabank, it's an Athletic 1, Albion Rovers 2. Our next game is at home next week to Wraith Rovers, again in the final game of the Via Play Cup, the 3 o'clock kickoff. That will also be being streamed live. Thanks for listening today. All the very best.